Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's that time of the week again when Google is rolling out the weekly security fixes for Chrome, which they pushed out late yesterday in my region on the 22nd of October. And we can also expect now more or less the same security fixes to roll out to the other Chromium-based web browsers like Brave, Edge, Vivaldi, throughout the rest and the course of this week. Now, because we are dealing with security issues, it's good to double check your browsers up to date by heading to your main menu, Help about Google Chrome. Latest version in build after the update has been applied is sitting on version 130.0.6723.69 or .70, either or on version 130. If you're running Windows, Mac and Linux means Chrome is fully patched and up to date. Now for this week, we get three security fixes that have been made available and they are all high severity flaws. So the security fixes are addressing high severity issues and they are once again common exploits. Uh, there is an in inappropriate implementation in extensions and there's also two type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine and thankfully once again there is no mention of any zero days that have, been, or that have already been exploited in the wild which is always good news. So three security fixes addressing three high risk and high severity flaws. Now with the security side of things out of the way, I have noticed a little new feature and setting that seems to be rolling out using a controlled rollout that has been made available with this point release update. And I've only seen it on my Windows 10 device, which is currently updating, not on my Windows 11 device. So I'm going to head over to Chrome Canary, where the setting obviously has become available just to show you what this is all about. So although I'm showing you this in Canary, go check in the same place in your stable version to see if it's rolled out um, in your browser with this latest point release update. So what you would do is head to your set settings, head over to performance, and here we get performance issue alerts. So this says get notifications that suggest ways to improve detected performance issues, which will be toggled on by default. Now, what this is all about, I have taken a screenshot when I posted regarding the, the feature when it was still in preview. So this is what you will see when there is a performance issue alert, which says these tabs are using extra resources to improve your performance. Let Chrome make um, them inactive. So you can fix now. And if there are tabs using, obviously, um, extra resources, if you say fix now, it will make those tabs inactive or you can just dismiss the notification so that's more or less what it's all about you'll see that here with the memory and energy saver icon in the top right so i have noticed one thing though just as a quick heads up that these performance issue alerts can get quite aggressive so if you've got a lot of tabs open and you kind of leave your browser for a minute or two and you come back the, this, these performance issue alerts can really start showing up here to the top right. So um, if it does get a little bit annoying or kind of in your face, you can always just toggle it off. But nonetheless, that's a new feature that's rolling out with this latest point release update, which I have seen is on a controlled rollout. So you may have seen it, you may have not, but just bringing that to your attention. And that's our latest security fixes um, for Google Chrome for this week, version 130, 6723, 69 or 70. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.